Hello again everyone, we are now on the second part of our lesson about smoking. So now we'll be discussing about the ways on how to stop smoking. So this said that it is not a secret that quitting smoking is difficult. Nicotine is very addictive. It's also hard to figure out how to quit in the first place. There are so many products available to help smokers quit. So, if you've been trying to quit and haven't been successful, you are not alone. But don't be discouraged, it is a tough and complicated journey. There's no magic formula that works for everyone. So, the key to stop smoking is to be patient with ourselves and know that we are not alone. So, first step is to write down on a piece of paper your reason why you want to stop smoking and keep it near your at all times, example, in your wallet. And whenever you feel the urge to smoke, bring it out and read it. Save them on your phone, print them out on index cards, and stash them wherever you use to put cigarettes. In your purse, in your desk, in your drawer, or on your nightstand. Make changes on our habits. Change your habits. If sitting outside your favorite coffee shop with your morning coffee and a cigarette is your old routine, you might find it almost impossible not to light up there. Instead, have tea or juice or go inside, where smoking is not allowed. Smoke few cigarettes gradually. Each week, choose a specific cigarettes to give up. Gradually increase the time between cigarettes. Smoke only during odd or even hours. Limit your smoking to certain places. Wait as late in a day as possible to sm start smoking. Try going one day without smoking. Fourth is to use alternatives such as chewing on a gum, exercising, taking 10 deep breaths, walk to the sink, Pour yourself a glass of ice water and drink it slowly. Fix a healthy snack, something that makes your breath and teeth feel fresh is great, such as carrot sticks or citrus fruit, or suck on a peppermint. Keep busy, keep your hands full, read a book, play a game, so that you will not have any room in your hands to put on cigarettes. Take out your long list of reasons that you have written earlier and why you're no longer a smoker and read it to yourself out loud if you have to so you'll have motivation and you'll be reminded of yourself why you need to stop smoking so there are five minute cigarette craving busters such as chewing gum sucking on a piece of tart candy do three sets of 10 jumping jacks whistle or hum for a while drink a glass of water eat a dill pickle or floss and brush your teeth. Use alternatives such as nicotine inhalers. The device is designed to imitate the act of smoking but is much less harmful. There are several other options to quit smoking including over-the-counter drugs or nicotine products like lozenges, patches, and gum. Um, examples of alternatives are a patch that is steady release over time, a spray, a fast acting NRT products such as a gum, lozenges, or inhalators. Let us avoid temptations and patterns. Don't put yourself in situations that will raise the pressure to smoke. For example, for a few weeks, don't go out with friends to smoke. You can still be friends with them, but tell them you're taking a break while you're in the early, tough days of quitting and will be back when you're stronger. So, uh, let us, for the meantime, let us avoid contacts with friends or hanging out with friends who smoke because it will only trigger us. But let us remind them or tell them about it so they will not feel offended and um, who knows, they will also be inspired by your... 
inspire urge to stop smoking and will also feel encouraged to do the same. Next is reach for help. Build your support system whether they are family, friends, or professionals. We know that our family and friends are always there to support us and they will be very much happy to assist us. So let us reach for help. And we can also reach for professional help such as our medical provider, healthcare provider, or therapist. But also we can reward ourselves. Give yourself small rewards for every single day you make it through the first two weeks and bigger ones at the end of week one and two. So for example, if you've made it through a week or two weeks, you can reward yourself something small such as um, buying something you liked for a long time or bigger ones such as um, taking your family out or buying something with a more expensive price on it but it's definitely worth it or something that you've been trying to do or buy for a long time like traveling those kind of things because it will give us a pleasant feeling and we will be able to congratulate ourselves and give ourselves a pat on the back or on the shoulder so to end, I'll be giving you a quote by Aristotle that says, Quitting smoking is rather a marathon than a sprint. It is not a one-time attempt but a longer effect effort. So let us remember that we should make our each step valuable and appreciated because quitting smoking is not something we can do overnight but it requires us um, an effort along term effort and that um, we need to be very patient with ourselves and we can expect also our family and friends to do the same so thank you so much for listening and i hope we have learned something for this video and um stay safe to everyone stay healthy thank you so much bye